Good morning, Resale Rabbit here. It is Tuesday, the 31st, last day of the first quarter. Definitely want to get your uh, eBay shipping supplies ordered, the free ones that you get every quarter. So anyways, I got this bra returned. Uh, they, they ordered a 34A. The listing says 34A. They said they received the wrong size. 34A, 34A, and... 34A, everything says 34A. They said they received a completely different size than what was on the listing. So uh, I came back, I refunded them, and I am now relisting it. We've got nine sales today for 187. So for starters, we're gonna come in here. I've got quite a few items in here. Let's start with 1A2. It's gonna be this. We're looking for light, I guess light three, because I don't see anything that says light otherwise. So this sold for 19 bucks. Um, yeah, sold for 19 bucks. Next, 2B2 is going to be here. We're looking for a bra. This is it. This is it. Uh, sold for thirteen ninety nine. Came on the Target pallets. I paid fifty cents. Looks like it was originally twenty one ninety nine clearance to ten ninety eight. All right, we'll put this back. Oops. Uh, there we go. Next one C one. So this is a multi unit order. So we'll grab all of these. I'm looking for Portofino. Uh, let's see. Is this it? That's it. Portofino. Next is going to be in 1C2. I'm looking for Dolce Vita. These things like to get caught on each other. Uh, let's see. Dolce Vita. And then number three, also in here, Sonata. Looking for a Hyundai. Here we go, Sonata. So these three items here sold for a total of forty ninety-seven. Let's see if we can flip them over. There we go. They're all lipsticks. So we'll put those up there. Next, we're in one G one. That is all the way down here. We're looking for one called Sugar Dust. Uh, let's see. Sugar Dust, right there. First one I grabbed. This looks like original retail is 14 I paid 5% of that, which is, I believe, 70 cents. Um, and I got 9 bucks for it. We'll put this away. We've got one more in here to grab. Out of 1A1, right on top here. This is sunscreen, sold this, this is the right one, right? SPF 50, yes. Sold this for 12 bucks. So that is the first, what, four, five sales? Next, we're looking for DB9. It's probably gonna be behind this one. So let's get this over here. And climb back, yes, that is DB9. Shift that down, shift this over, and this will pull right out. Let me see if I can remember what we're looking for. I think it ended in 80. Uh, let's see. I might need to, might have been this one, 840. I'm going to have to go look and see what number we're looking for. All right. I'm not quite sure why he even put these on here. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be looking at the bags anyways. But whatever makes it easiest for him. We're looking for this number, 08290 3X. It's a blue shirt. 08290 3X. There we go. Supposedly, there are three in here. I'm just going to bring this whole bag down. Sure doesn't feel like there are three in here. 
So let's take a look at the listing. Uh, no, this should be the last one. It looks like we sold the other two and he's just not updating that. So since he's not updating that, I'm not gonna update it. Uh, but here we go. Let me lay it out nicely. This is a Catherine's shirt. Came from Dress Barn. Looks like original retail was $59.95. It's actually got a Catherine's tag. So they must have transfer transferred this. The company that owned Dress Barn also owns Catherine's and I think Ann Taylor and maybe another one. So they transferred this from Catherine's. I got it for a buck after they closed and we sold it for $19.99. Next, we've got some socks. Is that gonna be these? Here we go. Kirkland Signature. I believe that's a Costco brand. Outdoor trail socks. These came on an Amazon pallet. So that could be a bolo for you. Someone bought this at Costco and sent it to Amazon. If you guys wanna look for that. I took an offer on these, $17.76. A little patriotic offer. I think I originally had them listed for 20. Next, I sold. I think I saw them in here yesterday. Oh, well, there are some in here, whether or not they're the right ones. Yes, here we go. Two thermometers, uh, digital thermometers. These are what you would see in a doctor's office. There is no probe for either of them, so you'll need a probe, and it looks like a battery cover. Um, I suppose you don't need a battery cover. We do have one more here. It is a rectal thermometer. You can tell because it's red. You can also tell because of the flavor. So these sold for 32 bucks. Uh, these uh, were tested working because I got a couple ages ago with probes that I could put on here and test them. Uh, sold them for 32 bucks for the pair. I'm gonna take a quick break from pulling because I just got a notification. I have six offers. These all must have just come in because I responded to offers within the past hour. Going through the offers, one of them is on the last of the packing cubes was from a viewer, 21, or they offered 15, I'm counting at 21.99. And speak of the devil, that uh, that rectal thermometer, offer 45.99, we've had it priced at 59.99. I've had this thing for about a year maybe, so I'll be happy to see this go. So anyways, I accepted, is this the A shelves? Yes, A3, I accepted five of those six offers. Oh, whoops. Uh, falling into the abyss. I don't even know if this is the right size. We're looking for an 18W. This is a 24W. Odd that the larger size is on top. All right, I'm going to need to pull these out. I'm going to make a mess here if I just use one hand. So I couldn't find an 18W. It's because the size that I'm looking for is 22W. I don't know where I got 18 from. And here they are. Original price was... Looks like 45, they dropped the price on clearance or what to 37. I paid a buck and I sold them for 15. So we'll get this stuff shipped out and I'm sure I will have more by the time I'm done. Got these all ready to go. Just have to print the label and the total price, 34.19. So I've mentioned this before. What I do is I pack them up and then I write the zip code on each one. So you can, so I know where it's going based on the label. I also line them up in the order that they ha are in the bulk shipping tool because the labels will print in that order as well. So I got an order. One of these orders, I'm not going to say which one, um, is going to, and I'm not going to say where it's going either, just for privacy reasons, uh, but going to a city that a friend of mine lives in, um, in another state, other side of the country. And the name on the, on the label, the name of the person who ordered it, is the same as one of his parents. So I just sent him a message. I said, hey, uh, is this your parents? I think it's total coincidence. Maybe, I don't know. They know I have a YouTube channel. Um, his parents know I have a YouTube channel, but whether or not they watch it, I highly doubt it. So I wonder if this is a purchase, just total coincidental that somebody I knew bought for me. So I sent him a picture and I said of the, of the uh, shipping label, I said, is this your mom? And he's like, oh my God, yes. So he's gonna find out for me if this is totally coincidental that his mom, opposite side of the country, probably 1500 miles away, happened to order something from me or if they knew they were buying from me because I'm very curious. 
So it's been a couple of hours. Uh, my video launched this morning showing the 54 sales I did yesterday. Um, I don't know if that's why, but I'm getting a lot of offers all of a sudden. So let's see what we've got for sales. We've got seven more for 127. It's currently 11.58, about noon. So it's been, oh, I don't know when I filmed the last part, maybe two hours or so. I wish I could get that every two hours. First, let's grab the sales out of here. I really need to move this stuff. So we've got one B1. We're looking for Starlight, which is somewhere in here. I don't see Starlight. Oh, here it is. So Starlight. There you go. And then in 1C2, we've got Nudo Shimmer. Nudo Shimmer. There it is. So, right before you take a shower, you get Nudo, and then you shimmer. These two sold to one buyer for $21.98. And then in 2B1... Bring this over here. I'll grab my note so I know what I'm looking for. We're looking for a Playtex P844. Uh, let's see, where would it say that? Probably there, that's M493. Oh, E515. E515. Just hoping this would be an easy one to find. M493. M493. This one does not have tags. I know we had a couple like that, uh, but they were new. I suppose it would have helped if I saw the, uh, the color, if I wrote that down. I just wrote the size down and the style. P844, we're looking for, what, a size XL, which is a 40DD, that's a large. What about this one? XL. Here we go. This one was purchased by a viewer. I'll go and read the note that she left in a moment. So original retail was $16.99. They clearanced it to $8.48. I spent $0.50 cents on a pallet and sold it for $14.99. And the viewer, Michelle, says, Hello, Resale Rabbit. Big fan from Richmond, Virginia. Would love to see a live Q&A from you. Looking for more education on buying storage lockers. Also, would love to see more of Mrs. Resale Rabbit. Love your videos, like the shorter ones better. Stay healthy, Michelle. Well, Michelle, I certainly appreciate the purchase. We'll get this shipped out for you today. Next, we've got two pairs of shoes. We're looking for a size seven in the pink right here. And then we'll cut across here. Same buyer bought, oh, it's gonna be buried in here. Uh, oh, wait. I think it's these. Is it the light ones or the dark ones? I'm going to have to double check. So these two pairs, both the same size, sold for 24 Hold on. Hold on. 26 bucks. I'm happy to see these go because these sit. I, I have not sold many of these, but original $22.99 each. I got them for $0.50 cents each on the Target pallets. Boy, was this one hard to find. I sold this for $18.99. It came from Dress Barn. I paid a buck. Original price was $25. The reason this was tough to find is because the first, I don't know, maybe 100 items that he listed out of Dress Barn, he listed with the, um, oh, what do you call it? Where you, you put several different sizes on one listing. With that, we stopped doing that because we can't add best offer to it, apparently. So the first ones were not sorted very well, but I was able to find it. I don't know what that's from. 
Uh, I turned a dollar into, what did I say, $18.99? Next, the last of the e-bags sold. $19.99, it was another viewer sale. I'll read the note in a moment. Lisa bought them. She says, keep up the videos. Uh, do you have any more storage units coming up? Keep positive and we'll, get, we'll all get through this crisis. Uh, Lisa, yes, I do have more storage units coming up. I have six units that I currently own that need to be emptied out. You, you guys saw in previous videos, two of them. I already started going through. One is mostly just trash. It's the one where I found the time clock. And what else was in there? Uh, the band saw, I think that one had the wheelchair, snowblower. That's the one where I broke the, shattered the glass table. So I've got that one I have to empty out yet. And I believe the dump is still open. So I can still haul that stuff to the dump. Um, and then I've also got the one that I started going through. Might be one of the more most recent storage unit videos. It had a big dresser in the front, a uh, KitchenAid mixer, and I was pulling stuff and just bringing it straight to Goodwill and then getting a second trip for stuff to come back here. I have those two. I also have another storage unit that I haven't even touched yet that was owned by an older woman, so I'm told, and she's had the unit for about six years. I went through it a little bit. It looked like mostly clothes and sewing stuff, nothing too exciting, which is why I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, number four is a unit that's almost emptied out. You guys saw that one too. It was overflowing. The boxes were falling out when they opened it at the auction. I've got a little bit left in that one. I've got a little bit left in what I'm calling the mold unit, the one that had the grossest recliner I have ever seen in it that I hauled to the dump. And then lastly, I've got the unit that's been in storage for like almost 30 years. I think it was like 27 years or something like that uh, that I haven't touched also. So one of these days, once it stops raining, I'll get out there and start emptying them. Uh, I don't think there's any problem, despite the shutdown with me going and emptying a storage unit of stuff that I own. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to haul anything to Goodwill because the thrift stores are all closed. Goodwill, St. Vinny's, the little ones. So what I'm basically going to do is fill a unit with stuff going to Goodwill. And once the shutdown is over, I'll just empty out that unit and bring it right to Goodwill. Because I don't have room here for all that that uh, donation stuff. So that's kind of the plan, and you'll see that in an upcoming week or two um, if I ever get nice enough weather to go do it. Got another sale. Uh, that's two, is this one? He's got them flipped backwards. That's three. So K01 is going to be this bottom box. I'll bring this over because I don't remember which item it was out of here. It was a Kohler part. If you remember a while ago, I got all these Kohler parts. It should end in 605. Hey, 605. So I sold a screw for 499 and it was a viewer who bought it. It was John. He says, hey, Rabbit, been a fan for over a year and I absolutely love your channel. If you could sign the card, that would be great. I hope you're doing well and keep up the good work. Well, John, I appreciate the order. There is your signed card. And here is your Kohler screw. Um, still have a decent amount of Kohler parts, but we sold most of them. I don't even remember what I paid for them at this point, but um, it wasn't much. And I sold one of them for a hundred bucks, almost maybe a week or two after I bought them. So this, needs to get flipped around so we can see what the numbers are. That's how I've got these sorted. This was back when I was doing my own listing. What I did with these Kohler parts is I started each listing with either K01, 02, or 03. And that tells me which box it's in. That was when I had a lot more. Now it's the boxes are pretty empty. And lastly, for $16.50, I sold the last box of water balloons. So... It seems like people are bored during this stay at home order. So they're making balloon animals at home. These expire in 2024. What did I say, 1650. So that is everything. So I made the executive decision to ship that, that uh, Kohler screw in a stamped envelope. No tracking, but I've got enough sales every day where it's not really going to affect my, my numbers. But if you notice, this is actually the last stamp of that sheet that I found in a storage unit a couple of weeks ago. I've never actually shipped something on eBay this way, but uh, hey, that's the first time for everything. 
and that costs 25.60 plus the 55 cents for the stamp if you want to count the stamp i did get the stamp for free and would you look at that while i was shipping that out got two more orders for 28 bucks so first we've got a nike armband which could be in here but i'm just kind of glancing on the top i've got a location where i feel like it's more likely to be in here. And skimming the top, I don't see it in here either. So I might need to do a little bit more digging. All right. That's not cooperating. There we go. Let's start up here. I'm gonna dig through these and see if I can find it. So it's not up here. Let's pull this one out and dig a little more. So I feel like I've turned this place upside down looking. I've looked at every shelf. I emptied out all of these bins. I also emptied out these bins. Couldn't find it anywhere. I also figured out another storage method. These will slide right under there. So that'll give us some more space. Finally found it. Let me show you where I found it. Buried right here. Why would this have been put here with, I don't even know what the logic is with this uh, sorting here. Best guess I can think of is it's stuff he had no place to put. But this could have gone with accessories. This could have gone with men's stuff. There's a lot of athletic items in there as well. I don't know. Anyways, I've been searching so long, my computer shut off. So let's see how much. Sold this for $14.99. Oh, that was frustrating. And it was a viewer purchase. Um, the buyer says, hey, Rabbit, found an item on your listings that will provide body support and shape that's not a bra. Well, I hope business will return much sooner and continue its robust success. I certainly appreciate the purchase. We've got one more viewer sale here. Over here, we're looking for a size six of these shoes. Again, if you haven't heard all the other times I've sold them, I uh, paid 50 cents on a Target palette. And this is a viewer purchase from Jamie. She says, sorry, you only get my shoe size with this purchase and not my bra size. Well, Jamie, I certainly appreciate the purchase. And uh, we're just going to assume your bra is also a size six. I don't know. That's it, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, let's see if I have any more sales since I was digging and searching. Nope, still just the two. So that's probably all I'm gonna ship out today. Any more sales after that, like it's 12.58. It's literally an hour from when I started shipping these. I spent a lot of time searching for that. Anyways, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate all the viewers that purchased from me and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.